Thank you very much. And we'll shift our focus, obviously, back to the Detroit area, where an inspiring program is making a difference. And for that story, we rejoin Rich Lerner. Rich. Kelly, thanks very much. The dropout rates in cities like Detroit, absolutely staggering. But there's a program called Midnight Golf, funded in part by the PGA America with help as well from the USGA that is really making a difference. It has been patterned after the highly successful Midnight Basketball program. And it takes at-risk kids, 17 to 22, generally an underfunded age group. And it gets them off the streets at a time when they might land in trouble. And it teaches them not only golf, but the all-important life skills. Substance abuse, domestic violence, um, crime. Some of these kids have been incarcerated. Um, some of these youth have, uh, are homeless. The world so often looks at the future of inner city youth and sees little hope. Renee Fluker sees greatness. I am a chemistry major and I hope to go to medical school. Mechanical engineer. Right now I'm at Michigan State University doing a double major in accounting and hospitality business. My major is marketing and human relations. Charmaine was a high school sophomore when we first reported this story more than five years ago. Now a senior at Oakland University, the first in her family to go to college, she was drawn to midnight golf for practical purposes. At the time, I believe my, I wanted to be a dentist at the time. And I figured that knowing how to play golf kind of went with being a dentist. Whatever the career goals, the ultimate objective of Midnight Golf is to turn out a productive citizen, one who knows right from wrong. That starts with Renee's simple belief that young people want attention, want love. Everything we do, we're, we include them as a family. They like eating together, they like doing things together. It's a family, and family is important to people, and especially to young people. You start off on the range, they give you some lessons, you are taught by PGA professionals, they feed you, they give you dinner. Um, you also have a lesson, the lesson of the day may be, you know, public speaking or, or etiquette or banking or invest, investing or something like that. If you need an internship, you can talk to somebody about that. It's just, it's so much, so much opportunity. And we're working very, very di uh, diligently on trying to provide golf to uh, people that otherwise may never have had the opportunity to play. And it isn't necessarily about golfers learning how to play better or anything like that. It's about the social and very positive values that the game of golf provides. As in the game, Midnight Golf enforces rules. There no do-rags, no hanging pants. you got to wear a belt. You must wear a belt for the guys. The guys' shirts must be tucked in. The story of one youngster is typical. Ms. Renee said, pull your pants up, put your hat on. And he goes, and I think this is stupid, but I got fed. And he goes, I kept going back. And one day I didn't go back one week. And I said, I miss being told to pull my pants up. And he says, at that point, today I stand before you. Six of my friends are in jail and the other six have died. I'm graduating. I'm going on to college. And that's what it's about. Midnight Golf organizes college tours around the country. And the value of that opportunity is measured in the reaction of the students who graduate the program and are then headed to college. Like y'all give me hope and everything. And I actually got into colleges because of golf and everything and I love y'all so much. Thank you. A man is only worth as much as the word he speaks and I, don't, I feel so rich right now because I love Midnight Golf. The kids here now have no idea how big of a difference it's going to make in their Like, no idea. I love it. I love Midnight Golf. It's wonderful. It is a program that says the cycle can be broken, that kids do not have to be a product of their environment. I'd like to own a few restaurants, maybe a hotel, and my dream is to own a professional football or basketball team. Dreaming big. Yes, always. How about that? One mentor said the flower has bloomed out of the concrete. Another said that it is imperative that adults extend a hand backwards and guide a young person, Kelly, down a path. Rich, a moving piece to say the least. Thank you very much for that story. And I'd like to turn to the guys now and get your thoughts on this untold side of golf. You know, we hear so much about the high-level players who make so much money, but this is really one of the long-term effects that these role models have on the game. They impact what? these children. Yeah, I just think the environment and the game of golf teaches life lessons that uh, I think can help break the perpetuate cycle of poverty. And it's, uh, it's great when you see these kids exposed to the game and also exposed to the honor code and the tradition.